Hello everybody, welcome back to a new vlog. So if you watched my last vlog, you will have seen me earlier today. Pre-makeup, I've put a full face of makeup on and done my hair for the first time in about 12 days. And it was a weird experience. I'm like, oh, so that's what I look like. Right, okay, I don't look like that. <laughs> I actually forgot what I look like with makeup on. I don't look like this normally. It's weird not feeling like a little potato. It's also weird vlogging again. Like I feel weirdly nervous because I haven't done this in such a long time. But yeah, I'm gonna bring you along with me today. I'm gonna do a little bit of cooking, just a little bit of stuff. Done a workout this morning, put some makeup on. That's about it. It's the afternoon now and I'm just gonna cook dinner but kind of slowly and take my time with it. Yeah, and just bring you along with me this weekend to chill. It is the nicest day today. It's so sunny. I just can't stop singing the Little Mermaid song where it's like, I wanna be where the people are. I really wanna be where the people are. But yeah, I actually feel like I've forgotten how to vlog. Like, I am sure this today. But this is what I'm wearing right now. This is what I wore this morning for my workout. I can't wait to get changed out of it. So we have my girlfriend sports top and then H&M leggings and then my asos slippers that's about as fancy as it got for my workout today but i might give you a little snippet of the kind of workouts i've been doing from home tomorrow morning I'm really really excited to just like get back into fitness because i literally have been in bed for like seven days and it's actually been like 12 days but like i spent seven days solidly in bed and then i think on like the eighth or ninth day i had to get up and hoover because i was just like i can't take it anymore yeah it's been a little roller coaster if you haven't heard me talk about it in the last video i'm doing a lot better i was like very like i was just in bed for a week like lots of kind of like fluy symptoms and my whole body just feels like bruised now it's really really strange but yeah i'm on the mend my personality has come back at the very least so i can do my job again which is really nice yeah i'm gonna get changed I don't know what else i'm gonna wear with this i just really want to wear this i love the color so much it's so pretty okay so this is what i'm wearing give me an hour i'll probably be back in loungewear but i've just been wanting to really make an effort after being literally in the same outfit for nearly a week because i couldn't move i'm just really enjoying kind of making a bit of an effort it's probably not practical for cooking food but just whilst i potter and do a few bits i thought I would wear this. So this top is from Zara. If you haven't seen my Zara haul, I'll link it in the info box. The jeans are Topshop mom jeans. I couldn't find my premium mom jeans. Really weird, because I don't know where they would have gone. I haven't been anywhere. So I'm wearing these. They're a little bit bigger, like really, really loose around the waist. So I've just kind of like pulled them quite far down, which doesn't really work with this top, but I'm just going to roll with it. But I just love this top. It's just such a beautiful colour and I love the sleeves. They make me so happy. Also, if you haven't seen my last vlog, I changed my room around, so I will link that below if you want to go and watch that as well. I'm really enjoying it. It's just so pretty. So, I need to check the time because I need to know when I need to start cooking. But, one thing that I want to do before I start cooking, I think before I start cooking, this would be a good idea. I don't know, I'm scared it's going to take me ages and then I'll never get around to making dinner. Because Ryan's been testing out like, lots of new recipes lately. So, because of that, we've kind of been eating a bit later. Because you know when you're trying something new and you don't know, oh, I'm dropping things. You don't know how long it's going to take. But my aim for today oh my god my aim for today is to eat quite early so i need to check the time but one thing i really want to get done is change my nail color because i thought i'd talk you through this in this video i did mention it in my last one but it was just already quite long and i didn't want to get into it too much but i've been doing my own acrylics fortunately i have a weird encyclopedic brain that just remembers weird things but i can remember all of the tools that my nail technician used so i just ordered everything i knew all of the steps that she'd do so i did my own acrylics at home which i wouldn't advise because i honestly think it's so bad for your lungs i'm dreading having to do at, like an actual take off and new set but i ordered a few polishes and this one was the better of the two so this one arrived a day later so originally i put clear on them because the grey white polish that I used. I'll pop photos because I have photos that I was sending to Lauren. The grey white one that I used just looked so bad. It wasn't like super shiny and it just was quite thick and clumpy and I didn't love it. This one also ended up kind of a little bit clumpier than I'd like because you had to put more coats on because it went streaky. And by the time I'd done it, I was just like, well, I've done it now. I just need to like stick with it, but it's really bugging me. And I actually think with the clear that I had on, it was just much easier to make it look better like it disguised a lot of imperfections so i'm gonna go back to having clear and just make do which i'm hoping the clear works when i have to do a new set and you won't be able to see the acrylic tip fingers crossed otherwise i might just test it on one nail and if it doesn't look right then i'll just do build a gel over my natural nail and then do a clear polish but yeah this has got to go it's just making me sad i'm just not very good at painting nails so um i think that's also part of the issue is that the shape of them just doesn't look right because i'm not particularly great at painting nails so i'm gonna just shave the top color off 
and then just put a clear coat on. But I thought in case some of you were interested, I'll show you what I got. So I have this lamp. If I can, I'll link things in the info box. I got everything off Amazon. And this was before we went into lockdown. So I'm really sorry if this is just like teasing you now because I don't feel like everything is gonna get delivered. I also I picked up these because you know how much I love my nail gems. I've got this, this is the powder builder I'm using. It's probably all like the worst quality stuff compared to what my nail lady uses. But to be honest, I'm just grateful that I have the tools because I know so many people right now that are having to get their acrylics and gels off and just sit with their hands in acetone for so long because they don't have like the right stuff to really be taking it all off. Yeah, I've got the glue, I've got acrylic liquid, I've got all the brushes hit myself in the face with them tons and tons of nail files these are going to come in handy i had no issue with buying all of these uh, i've got nail clippers for when i eventually have to take them off i've got a whole set of acrylic tips literally so much stuff i've got foils and have the squishy bit in them already i spent a lot of money on it loads of people have been dming me like what what kit did you buy and i'm like it wasn't a kit and it wasn't cheap and i'm so sorry i just literally like kind of had a moment where i was like oh my god oh, what am i gonna do if we get stuck and i can't go get my nails done and i can't live with these forever there's that squidward meme it's like squidward but with like nails but like shit nails and i was like that's gonna be me <laughs> but i also got this this is what i used to shave the top of my nails off it's probably really bad for you but i'm gonna do it anyway so this is the before it looks fine on camera to be honest but in real life i cannot live with this it's so streaky so bad it's making me really sad this is why someone dms me and they were like you can just not go to the nail place now because you can just do your nails yourself and i was like no i just really enjoy going and having it done it's quicker yes it's more expensive but it's that little bit of like something that i do for myself that and my hair i do tan at home i don't know it's just one of those things where i don't really mind the expense so i'm definitely not going to be doing my own nails full time yeah i just miss my nail lady as well so much amy she's so cute she dm'd me when i put these or my clear set of these on instagram and she was like you can do anything you're great i was like oh my god amy i just love you i'm feeling very emotional i'm just missing all my people right now but yeah basically what i do so i open my window up wide just hang out the window do my nails and uh yeah saves my lungs so before and after i feel like I could use some oil on my fingers and some hand cream because doing this and washing my hands constantly is not working out for me. So I'm just going to use my clear polish, which I think is in, no, it's in the living room. Let's go get it. Hi. Hey. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm repainting them. Couldn't take it anymore. Friends watched me do my nails like... God knows how many times in the past few days. I am quite like a perfectionist about it. So yeah, I've literally just been redoing them constantly because they've been annoying me. It really niggles me if they're not perfect, which is so silly. So I have this no wipe gel top coat. If you aren't familiar with gels, then you normally have to wipe the top, but I decided to get a no wipe top coat because CBA, it's just another extra step, you know? Ordered everything on Amazon Prime, like, beginning of March because I was like this is the one thing I'll forego hair like I could always put my hair in a slick back bun I can take the extensions out because I know how to do that I know people are like you know we can take everything out and be natural because we're not going anywhere and that is true no one's gonna see us but I see me and I don't get dressed for you I know it's my job and I know I'm on YouTube and you know I have to do my job but that's not the main reason I get up and get dressed in the morning I do it for me it's why even when like I'm on my own, I still wear nice clothes. That's why I'm still like bothering to browse online now because I see me and I like to, I dress up for me. I don't dress up for boys. I don't dress up for you guys. I do it because it makes me feel good. And uh, I'm taking that same approach with my nails because my nails make me feel really, really good. So I'm just sticking with clear for now. We'll do. Stick my nails in here, kind of do it for roughly like 60 seconds see if they need doing some more but yeah if you're looking to do gels this lamp's been great i really like it it's really cute i'm gonna be doing ryan's hair this weekend as well which i'm a bit scared about but these things are gonna be done and there we go not the best like not perfect but you know what they say done is better than perfect apparently i do just find like i pick up less mistakes with the clear so this will at least just Stop me going mad. I paint my nails like this and then I wonder why like nail polish that has an actual colour looks shit. 
wow but yeah if any of you have amazing like french manny gel kit type recommendations i would love that because i love a french manny and i'm actually i'm pretty decent at that like i could draw a tip on no no issue don't know why i can't paint like a full nail with an actual like opaque color but french manny can do with my eyes shut i think it's because when i was 13 like i stopped biting my nails i just decided one day that i was gonna stop and i just started like doing my nails every day at home and that was like my life that and playing sims at age 13 i really feel like i've regressed to my 13 year old self right now but my nails and the sims were like my life and i didn't really do much else because i wasn't really allowed at the house so if you have any recommendations or even just polishes that are kind of that way inclined but that aren't streaky like i want to be able to I, I like a one coat wonder if you have any recommendations i would love to hear them yeah the one annoying thing i would say about the powder acrylic is how it doesn't match the one that my nail lady used which is why they kind of have this like ombre pink effect but like the reverse of what i would actually like so i'd prefer it to be like pinker down the bottom and then less up the top my acrylic just didn't it wasn't the same color so sadly it doesn't match perfectly I'm still proud that they're still going <laughs> so they're looking dry as hell but at least i can bear the color now because before it was just really bugging me that is us done now i'm gonna go make a pasta bake cook some pasta bake this is how i cook <laughs> i'm not doing it without rosé i'm ready to roll got my things got my rosé ryan's just reminded me that it's three in the afternoon i'm already drinking so hey everybody so today is sunday i have an exciting day lined up today of sorting out my wardrobe room which if you have watched the i think it's the last vlog you will have seen that it is an absolute state i actually just got this dress out of my suitcase which i haven't unpacked and it's been like over a month so <laughs> yeah i'm in need of sorting that room out it's actually it just looks like a bomb's hit it it's my wardrobe room but half of ryan's wardrobe is in there so it's actually quite difficult to, for him to get to his clothes at the moment so i need to sort it out i am not looking forward to it one bit because it's just got really really bad i'm excited to get all of my bits out of my suitcase that i still haven't like showed you guys yet and get them all like steamed and hung and ready for me to actually show you in a video soon which will be really cool lots of really nice like springy bits that can like easily take you into summer and autumn as well let's hope they're still in store because obviously i've had them for like over a month now but yeah so i'm gonna be doing that i'm also gonna be cutting ryan's hair i'm so scared you know when you're just like God, I don't want to do this, but I also don't want him to like be suffering with like long, weird hair. So we're just gonna we're gonna have to do it. This is the dress I'm wearing. In case you wanted to see it in full, it's a little bit crinkled. I'm hoping these will drop out as I wear it, and then I won't have to like steam or iron it. It's from ASOS. It's really really cute. I love the neckline on it. It's like a sweetheart. I think this is what you would call it, a sweetheart neckline. Really really pretty. Just a really nice easy one, and it's so nice and warm today. So I thought I would use this as the perfect opportunity to crack this one out it's so pretty really love it and then asos slippers and yeah it's a really nice easy summer piece to have in your wardrobe i just think it's so gorgeous i really love the way it fits and i've just done my hair I've just quickly run the straighteners over it and like curled the ends under a little bit just to give it a bit more of a polished look because this set of hair is nearing the end of its life so um yeah my extensions are just like over life at the moment and i'm just kind of doing everything i can to kind of keep them looking nice i've been running a lot of the olaplex oil over it haven't done that yet today i need to do it but it makes them look a lot healthier and um a lot more fresh but i'm actually quite excited to have them out and just be able to like give my real hair some breathing time whilst i'm not really like going out too much and do some nice hair masks that are just going to like fully be able to penetrate my real hair because obviously i put hair masks on but there's so much hair and i can't guarantee that it's getting to all of my real hair all of the time so it'll be nice to have them out and treat my real hair and just kind of give it some tlc it's gonna look a bit odd though it does need a cut and obviously that's just not happening but i will vlog the process of taking them out there's an at-home hack for taking them out just in case any of you are in need of knowing that because i know there's a lot of you that are like i'm having to do all of the usual maintenance but at home and i don't know what to do see so yeah, i'll show you i've never done a full head but we'll see how we go and even if there's any problems i encounter at least you can kind of learn from <laughs> any mistakes i make step 
one of sorting my life out done got all of the like little bits out of my suitcase my suitcase has been packed away i just now have like things that i need to put away in my wardrobe so everything's all good from that part now i just need to tackle this room because it basically became a dumping ground when we were rearranging the bedroom so yeah i need to sort this this room don't expect like a cute transformation like when I did my bedroom and showed you that because this room is basically going to now just be I think a bit of a sorting room until I move I'm just going to be moving things into here that maybe no one can obviously come pick up yet and just places for boxes to go and things like that I do normally have a company that like packs and moves for me just because then it interferes less with life and work most importantly work if I can just move in one day so I'm not too worried about like this being full of packing or using this isolation time to start packing things because I don't even know where I would start with like getting boxes and stuff when I can't leave my house so I'm not too worried about things like that but I do need this space just for like organizing things and not to be a pretty room but more of a like base function room so that the rest of the flat just doesn't feel like overwhelmingly cluttered but to start with I need to sort this out yeah so that is what I'm gonna do right now getting somewhere this looks a bit more like my dressing room space again now I've actually put this mirror in here I don't think it really fits this space but I think it is nicer to have a mirror in there kind of bounces the light around a little bit more and makes it a little less dark as you can see I have my huge pile of returns here I also have a few more clothes that I need to sort through because I work with ASOS but I also obviously as you guys want to buy stuff from ASOS so I need to go through and differentiate between what's mine and what was sent by them so that I just know if there's anything that I can return and if there's stuff that can't be returned and then I can do like a charity sale with it when I'm able to like go to the post office and stuff again. Got a few bits here that need to go away and then I think we can move this chest of drawers here and then we can actually like walk around the rest of this room because right now I can't get to this room's like an L. I can't get up this area of the room and to be honest I wouldn't show you it even if I could. <laughs> because it's a state. Before I went away I cleared out so many of like my coats and bits from my wardrobe that I wanted to like sell on Depop and it's just all up the other end of that room now and I don't really know what to do with it so it's just gonna be there for a little bit and this is just basically going to be the dumping room and that's okay but at least we have like some walking space now and my chest of drawers from my bedroom has somewhere to be until I move. I'm loving this color palette. This really, really pleases me. I'm gonna leave these and not steam them yet because I'm hoping that some of the creases will drop out and I'm hoping I will have to spend less time steaming things if I just kind of leave them a little bit just for like even a day um, and see what happens. balcony worked i wish my balcony worked i wish my balcony worked but what i wouldn't give right now you guys to be able to do some yoga on my balcony that would be the dream and the oven's just stopped working as well so what a time for everything to go wrong in this flat honestly but yeah that is my sorting my life out done i think for today at least i'll probably do some more organization coming up but honestly i'm a little bit like what do i do with stuff if you're like decluttering your wardrobe which i know is like a trend right now but what do you do with all the stuff like i don't have that much space so i'm a bit like what do i do with everything i do i'd love to put stuff on depop and do like a charity sale for you guys to kind of like get involved with but it's like um i don't really feel like i should be going to the post office right now i don't know i don't know it just feels a bit weird uh i don't know i'll probably do it more towards the end of all of this and then i'll be able to post stuff soon ish yeah i also just don't want there being any like delays and then you guys like not getting your stuff that you have like paid for so what shall i do let me know what do you think but yeah so that is kind of one of the main reasons for my lack of motivation right now is i don't really know what to do with all the stuff i'm decluttering so i'm just not really decluttering even though it would be the best time on earth to do it i don't know where to put the stuff and that second bedroom is getting fuller and fuller and fuller such a nice day <gasps> 
wish I could sit out in it. I might just go and do some yoga in my car park. Is that allowed? Am I allowed to do that? What are the rules? I need to know. <laughs> I'm confused. Okay, I'm gonna go see if my oven is working again. Ryan's made dough balls. I'm gonna try this one and then this one, I'm gonna throw at him because he's being cheeky. No. It's very garlicky. Like them. Oh, really? <laughs> Not bad, Hurley. Not bad. Not bad. Not Oskia Renaissance Cleansing Gel. This is the mini size of this ginormous size that I had, but sadly, this is a bit in the dust. What a time for it to bite the dust, eh? I then followed it up with the Oskia Super Seat Beauty Capsules. I love, 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 love these. I then put a little bit of the Tan Lux Super Glow Hyaluronic Self Tan Serum on my face and then followed up with the allies of skin molecular multi-nutrient day cream this one is from what i have been told and recommended the better one for skin my age the other one has peptides in it which is for more mature skin so i'm really really liking this so far actually and i don't normally get on with day creams so winning and this is how my skin is looking at the moment i'm really really happy with it so some of you will have seen on instagram i changed my routine up a little bit and i now only use one active ingredient in terms of skincare morning and evening so this morning's was vitamin c and caroline harris has also said you can use these at night so sometimes i actually use them at night as well but that will be the only thing that i use and then a light hydrating moisturizer and then in the evenings i alternate between that vitamin a retinol and then my lactic acid and oh one other thing that i have been trying which i don't want to like ignore because i think this has been doing actually doing some good for my skin is the ren dark spot sleeping cream that i've been using and i do think it's making a difference i just use it just on its own after like a hydrating serum on nights when i don't want to like go lactic acid or retinol or anything and yeah i feel like just taking it down to one because before i do like glycolic which i've kind of stopped using at the moment just because i don't think that it's like necessary for my skin and looking pretty good um so I've taken glycolic out and then i only use either lactic acid or retinol whereas before sometimes i was using them both together loving my skincare routine at the moment i feel like it's made such a difference to my skin and i only have one breakout at the moment like one lump on my forehead and that that is from chocolate my friends yeah because i made brownies so today i think i'm gonna have a little bit of a kind of chill day i don't have too much to do apart from this afternoon i need to get a video uploaded i'm having like weird stomach pains at the moment and i think that it could partly be due to like suppressed stress and i know my life is like so much stressful i'm so aware but i do think i tend to like in situations that are new or slightly stressful i tend to suppress things a little bit so i'm just going to spend some time on my yoga mat this morning seeing as i don't have like to rush to do work today like lauren's like finishing up the video now so yeah i'm just gonna spend some time on my yoga mat and give myself some time to like i think sometimes it's good to give your mind space to just like wander so i'm just gonna like stretch see if i come up with any ideas just see if it benefits me i don't know i haven't done yoga in a few days or any kind of stretching really so i'm gonna get on that and then maybe if i end up doing a workout that would also be great so yeah i'm in my gym kit i'll show you that now so this is my yoga kit of choice today normally this would be like a very summer based workout kind of outfit but i don't really have to worry about that at the moment because i'm not really going outside so i'm just making the most of wearing like my favorite things indoors and i got this bra from marks and spencers ages ago it's just like a no wire one and it's just been the perfect like workout item and then i've got these cycle shorts from i think they're from girlfriend which is a really great I think they're like sustainable but also kind of quite affordable brand that netta porte sells so yeah love these two and they're also very cute with a hoodie thrown over the top and a pair of Nike Air Max 97s just saying
actually ended up doing a little bit more than I originally planned so that was good it was just kind of testing out I've got like some new resistance bands and stuff and testing out like how they feel and just trying out a few new at home workouts I don't really like working out at home I'm gonna be honest so I'm just kind of adjusting to that I know a lot of people have been asking about my routine I've just asked for some questions uh, just to do a Q&A on Instagram and lots of the questions are about like my at home exercising routine how I'm finding it I'm just gonna flat out be honest I really really don't like exercising at home I loved going to the gym I like everything being there and nothing having to be in my house I don't like having extra stuff in my house like I really didn't want to get extra like resistant bands and weights and all of that but here we are the health is kind of priority in these times so that is done um it's just nice to stretch a little bit just kind of like work on a little bit of like daily strengthening and just did a little bit of core and a little bit of bum as well because I love working my bum out. But yeah, this would be the point when I'd normally put makeup on but I really don't actually want to put too much on today. I am so happy with my skin at the moment. So I just kind of am happy being makeup free. I'm so shaky by the way, sorry if the camera, if you can actually notice it shaking because I need to like have something to eat. Yeah, I don't really want to like cover it up. I'm really, really happy with it. So I might just put like a little bit of By Terry CC serum on and just kind of leave it at that. I would say it's definitely the Osteolactic Acid. I've been using that. So some of you in the comments said to leave it on overnight. I've been doing that. It definitely has made a difference. So thank you for your feedback on that video. Some people's feedback was slightly ruder than others, but I'm taking it because it was good feedback. Very, very happy with it. That and the Dark Spot cream I feel like are doing wonders so really really happy so I'm not doing makeup and I think I'm just gonna like set out a vague plan for my week like sort my life out we've already started this in the vlog I'm gonna continue sorting my life out I'm gonna make a vague like meal plan just what I want to do each day like set days out so I'm gonna have set days where I vlog set days where I make like TikTok videos just so I wake up in the morning and I know what I'm doing because if I'm left with too much choice nothing gets done so yeah if you're feeling like you're in the same boat one of my top tips would be to narrow down your choices each day of what you can do and just kind of really set it out for yourself treat yourself like a child i say this and i hate the way it sounds but sometimes i have to be like no you're not going to sit on your computer all day this is what you're going to do today like have you had your dinner have you eaten all your veggies have you done your exercise have you had enough water have you done your homework <laughs> kind of stuff that in the moment you don't really want to do it but long term it's actually very good for you that was like that would be my top tip for being stuck at home Can have a little organizing afternoon we all love an organizing afternoon don't we yeah outfit of the day got this zara body on zara leather joggers because my tracky bottoms are in the wash and by in the wash i mean just sitting in my laundry basket because i still need to do that I now have a meal plan for the week and a workout plan. So yeah, I have just remembered why my bullet journal failed so spectacularly and it's because I really just don't have the patience for this. Like every time a line just goes slightly out of place, I'm like, that's it, I'm done. I don't like this. I prefer working on a computer where you can delete things and no one knows that you ever spell enchiladas wrong. I didn't actually spell enchiladas wrong. I actually had to look it up because I don't, I just don't know how to spell enchiladas. Things I've learned about myself. In self-isolation but this is our little meal plan for the week i know off the top of my head what we have in the fridge so i've just kind of jotted down things to make sure we eat those we really need to eat the pies so that is on my list that was one of the first things that went on there along with fish tacos uh, which we're having tonight and i'm so excited i use fish fingers and it's just the best thing ever so tasty and this is my little workout routine the rest days can go in the place of yoga days but yoga is just quite gentle for me so i've put in a lot of yoga i don't like the layout of this i regret it but there we go. Won't be starting up a bullet journal again anytime soon, guys. On the bright side, I know what I'm eating this week and I know when I'm exercising, so.
one hour, 20 minute call with my manager. We went through a lot of stuff, like long term stuff. So probably stuff you won't see for like a year. But we've decided that now is the perfect time now that everyone's kind of like taking a slight breather to work on some long term things that I've been really, really excited to work on. And just like, sorry, I've bitten my lips. So I feel like I'm talking really, really strange. But just like kind of work on some bits and give some bits some TLC that are long term plans that I've been really wanting to give some time to. So I think now I'm going to upload today's video. I need to remember to do that. And then I'm going to shower and do dinner. I'm really excited for dinner tonight because we're having fish tacos. It's like Mexican, but fish, which is my favorite. <laughs> this is what I like to do to Ryan when he's cooking. Watch and learn. I'm not learning anything. Don't get your hopes up, I'm cooking nothing. pajamas on these are from white company i just love the color of them so much they're so pretty and these are actually a medium so they're super super roomy so these are like my comfiest pair of snazzy pajamas i would say and then i've also got my asos slippers as usual i'm gonna go play some sims now and just zone out for the evening i think i think i'm gonna make my brownies tomorrow i was gonna do it today but the afternoon seems to have run away with me so i'm gonna go on an exciting trip to the post room play some sims cook my fish tacos for dinner I'm so excited for my fish tacos. I just caught Ryan eating a very late lunch, like basically early dinner, and uh, he best have room for fish tacos. Otherwise I'll be very, very sad. What have you just what? done? I had like two bits of pasta. Yeah? I'm Honestly, I'm gonna kill him. Yes, I am so excited for this. Oh my god, you guys have to listen to this. I had a stream the other night that I was friends with Billie Eilish, and my friends have just in the group chat sent me this. I had a dream. I was mates with Billie Eilish. <laughs> I'm just on my own at the moment. Ryan's not in the room, and I'm just laughing and like tearing up. It's so funny. And then I had a dream. All at the same time, <laughs> I was not expecting I this. If you want to know what my evening sound like is this. Good afternoon everybody, I almost went to say good morning but I caught myself there. So today it is Tuesday, this morning I did my day one of my workout plan and I feel so good for it. I'm actually going to be doing a video that's like my workouts and just what I'm eating at the moment, not really as a like you should do this but just as a like if you guys are curious because I've had a lot of people ask me this is what I'm doing, <laughs> this is the kind of stuff I'm eating, this is how not healthy I'm eating. No, we're just kind of eating whatever we want because one of the joys that we have right now but yeah so i've had a really really nice day i did that filmed so many tiktok videos I've done a little bit of work kind of working on future pieces of content i've got a little presentation that i need to make this afternoon and i'm just feeling really good like it's such a nice sunny day and oh so spoiler alert i did my workout on my balcony because the balcony we drilled through it and uh we were allowed to but we had to like use a drill on the lock and it works it works and i've literally never been so happy and we also may potentially have sorted out the issue with the dishwasher as well we haven't used it yet so i'm tentative about that but i'm so happy because it means that i don't have to spend the rest of my isolation life washing dishes and i can use my balcony and i did my workout because it wasn't like a cardio workout it was just arms and abs fyi i did that 
and I did it on my balcony and it was so nice. I wasn't like too hot and sweaty because I was outside. It was the perfect temperature today because the weather is just gorgeous. And uh, yeah, I feel really, really good now. Just like so happy. It's just like a big weight off of my mind. And now I can stop moaning in the vlogs because <laughs> you're probably all getting sick of it. It's like, oh, you poor thing. You have a nice flat and you're moaning because your balcony door is broken for you get the tiny violin out i know but i'm just so happy and i feel like i need to just like state how happy i am but yeah now i'm just sorting through some clothes that need to be put away behind me and i'm gonna have something to eat because so far i've had a like snack bar and a coffee today and that is not enough so i'm gonna sort that out i've got so much washing to do has anyone else just neglected their washing because there's just absolutely no reason because you haven't really like been wearing that much clothing but yeah it is mounting and I'm just like, I need to do that. So yeah, I feel like I've had a really nice productive day though and I feel really, really good about that. Like you can probably tell, I feel very, very different to how I would normally, but um, I'm gonna pop you there maybe. I'm gonna pop you there. Ryan has made sausage rolls and Nutella twists. Well done, babe. Well done. Oh, so good. So good. Okay, so I'm walking away from the plate of sausage rolls that's in the kitchen because I've just had three. I will eat the last one if I do not go away from it. I've made myself a little vague plan for what I'm doing with the last kind of like hour of the working day. And I made it quite vague, so I thought I'd show you guys because I never really get to share the kind of things that I work on because normally I've got like, do this for top shop and I don't really want to like mention brands if it's something that's like isn't certain or something like that so I've got quite a vague little to-do list uh, for what I just need to do in the last like hour of the day so I thought I'd show you that so I need to transfer footage pitch for a beauty brand so I need to send a beauty brand an idea that I've got uh, it's very vague um obviously that's the bit that I've had to keep the vaguest I've got an Instagram Q&A that I need to do I asked for questions the other day and I just need to go and answer them this evening so that's probably going to be like an ongoing one and then I need to go through today's footage as well because I've been filming several videos today so I need to go through that and then I need to plan the outfits that I'm going to be using for tomorrow's TikTok it might take me more than an hour because I faff around and I also need to go down to the post room and I'm going to make that a priority because I just really hope that there has been a delivery today there's some stuff that i ordered ages ago and it, i'm kind of like it's saying it's been delivered and i'm like has it though so i'm excited to find out It is Thursday. Hi, yeah, present day. I'm watching this video and I realized I forgot to outro it, which I was like, what am I doing? I need to stop filming over multiple days because it's so confusing and it ends up being so long for me and Lauren and for you. But my life is well and truly sorted. I'm so happy. Hello, Ryan. We have everything sorted. <laughs> We literally have everything sorted. I feel like in the space of a few days, my whole life has been sorted out and I'm so happy. Very tired. I slept really badly last night, but so happy. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and just like this little life update. I have some, like a lot of life updates to give you. I can't wait for my next few videos. Hello, but I'm gonna leave you there and I will see you guys in the next vlog. I can't speak because we've had some big life updates and I'm so excited. But yeah, I will see you guys again very, very soon. Bye. All right. Bye.